Hello everyone, Wayne Motts from the National Civil War Museum and Licensed Battlefield Guide at Gettysburg. I hope you're all safe, you're all at home. I'm out here on the Gettysburg Battlefield today. I'm standing next to the 149th New York Volunteer Infantry Regiment on Culp's Hill and one of my favorite Gettysburg stories, which I'm going to give to you while you're inside today. The ball relief or bronze relief on the front of the memorial depicts Sergeant William C. Lilly of Syracuse, New York. Sergeant Lilly was the color sergeant of this regiment on July 2nd and 3rd, 1863, fighting in the trenches as part of General George Green's brigade at Gettysburg right behind me. In that action on the 2nd and, and the 3rd day of July, the flag of the 149th New York, its American flag, was struck some 88 times in the fight. And during the battle, the staff that held it was cut in twain. And Sergeant Lilly is shown here on the relief of the memorial, put here in the 1880s, splicing the flag back together again under fire. Unfortunately, Sergeant Lilly was mortally wounded on October 28th. 1863 in the Battle of Wahatchee Valley in Tennessee. While he was mortally wounded, his comrades loading him into an ambulance, a Confederate soldier was placed right next to him and he said, well, my friend, I guess I'm going to have to share a blanket with you. He takes the blanket and covers his enemy up with it. The two men are taken to a hospital where Sergeant Lilly dies on November 1st, 1863. All the years later, when the regiment remembered what happened here at Gettysburg, who do they wish to honor? Sergeant Lilly. Today, Sergeant Lilly rests in Woodlawn Cemetery in Syracuse, New York, and the flag that he spliced back together again is still in Syracuse today. I hope you enjoyed this Gettysburg short story. If you like this video and others like it, go to the National Civil War Museum's YouTube channel and subscribe. Be safe.